Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Tuesday, and Kathy's going to start showing you guys what's sold for us today, but I think we have uh, some support from viewers to go over real quick with you. Hey guys, I wanted to thank Ingrid. She bought us three coffees and said your videos are super helpful. I love to watch them as I list, and I'm also loving the spreadsheet thing. Awesome. Thank you so much, yeah. Ingrid. Ingrid, thank you so much for that support. Yeah. We do appreciate it. If you're new here, uh, we did come out with just like a reseller spreadsheet. It is free. Um, it's Google Docs, not like Excel or anything. Yeah. But, um, we have a video about it, and then the link is in the description of all our videos. So. If yeah. anybody wants that, it's free. And just make sure you click zero as you're checking out through Gumroad. So. If you want it for free. If you yeah. want to support, you can <laughs> you can add in whatever number there you want. Yeah. And that support is greatly appreciated. Ingrid, thank you so much for the coffee. If you're also interested in supporting the channel by buying us a coffee, there is a link down in the description. And that's just a way to kind of help support your YouTube creators and stuff. You know, we do spend it on coffee, but we also help, you know, support the channel with it and stuff like that. So all that support is greatly appreciated. We do thank you very much. This guy yeah, jumped to the fence today, and he's like... He's regretting his bad I'm decision. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, imagine, like, an 80-year-old man jumping over a four-foot fence. And, yeah, he's not feeling good now, so... Um, yeah, he's he seems super sore and tired. He kind of... I got a, a call from a neighbor. Not on a comfortable bed, but... <laughs> yeah. So we'll see how he feels a little bit later, but he... I'll Thankful probably give him... for neighbors, yeah. <laughs> probably give him some Motrin or something. I don't know. All right, we see. Yeah, I'm also not feeling too great just because I sat in the dentist chair for four hours yesterday. <laughs> um, had issues with getting my my face numb, and <laughs> That's crazy. it took like eight shots before I eventually didn't get fully <laughs> numb. They just, I had a root canal, and they they, I was like, you know what, man, I'll go through the pain. <laughs> just get it done. Get me out of this chair. Yeah, yeah. so it was a miserable day yesterday, and I'm not feeling too great, but it's done. <laughs> yeah. So for now, <laughs> I hate I hate dentist stuff. Yeah. That's, uh, it's, but it's, thankful for them because imagine uh, yeah. just living with yeah. that. I don't forever. hate dentists. <laughs> I hate yeah. dental work on my mouth. <laughs> I I appreciate their service. Yes. And anyway, back to back to work. <laughs> Real work. Um, this is an LL Bean like pullover. I've had this listed forever, like over a year, and it just hasn't been selling. Like LL Bean usually sells great. It's a nice polar tech fleece. It, I mean, it's fairly plain. It's just like red, but it's a nice fleece. But anyways, I recently dropped the price because it just wasn't selling, and then it finally sold for eighteen oh nine plus shipping on eBay, and I had four ninety nine into that, so about a ten dollar profit there. It's just gonna ship out in the poly mailer. All right, CV. Maybe this says see you. <laughs> yes. All right. Like, uh, looking for white shoes. <laughs> All right, these are some Skechers shape up. So still love selling these. I picked these ones up for $6.99 and they sold for $31.80 plus shipping on eBay. Not bad. And those will fit in a padded flat rate. So, easy peasy. Oh no, see, this is another C or C V. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. I don't see them here. <laughs> okay, there they are. All right, these are a Bayo or a Bio, however you'd like to say that. Um, so these I bought off Facebook Marketplace in October when they were having the free shipping. So I paid $10 for them and got free shipping. Um, I listed them at 50. These retail for over 100. They're like a nice orthotic shoe, so really good arch support. And these were in great shape. So I listed them at 50. I expected 35 to 40. Mm -hmm. And someone offered me 25 today. I'm uh, like just under my goal for the month so far, so. As much as I wanted to counter and not accept offer, I just accepted it. So I'm about doubling my money there. Um, Posh takes $5, so I make 20. Paid 10, got delivered to my house, yeah. took a few pictures, made $10 profit. I think that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. And those I think I'll strip out in a medium flat rate box because it is Poshmark. I just filled all my boxes back up. But where did I put the medium flat rates? I think they're right here. Yeah, 
running low, but we placed yeah. a big order the other day. In a perfect world, we'd ha we would have like an individual for each yeah. compartment, kind of like mm -hmm. what Kevin at Commonwealth has. He has I a really great table, setup. Yeah. I wish we had the space for something like that, because um, we have two work. You know, we have two desk workstations which kind of takes yeah. up all the space and our our ceilings are kind of mm -hmm. if this wasn't like a, a gabled ceiling or whatever that's called <laughs> you don't think we could put like a wood thing right here yeah i just don't think it would be optimal it's it well what is it used for right now nothing yeah i don't know <laughs> i do want to do something in the new year right here like yeah it's just boring even if it's like hang mugs or something. Yeah, you know, something yeah. cool. Like everyone else has coolly decorated like spaces and ours is pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> but it's clean and organized. That's true. Let me see, I gotta come to O. <laughs> All right, this is actually going out to our viewer, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, she bought this little selfie light. I believe she said it oh, was like gonna a ring light, to her huh? daughter, yeah. Um, she said her daughter will have fun playing with that on her phone and iPad. So uh, that came out of a FabFitFun box. I just was never going to use it probably, so I listed it. And I already paid for that box by people joining with my credit. So everything in there was free to me. And Stephanie bought this from me for $8 plus shipping. That was an offer I had sent her. Awesome. And yeah, I'm actually going to put that in like a little tiny box. So. Cool. I'll have to find that in the closet. Stephanie, <laughs> thank, you, thank Stephanie. you so much for that support. I'm sure your daughter's going to love yes. that. I feel like that's that's on every, Definitely I'm guessing, teenage, preteen age yeah. girl's uh, Christmas list. That's true. <laughs> All right. This is another really old item that I'm just so happy finally sold. These are just rocket dog booties, so they don't cost that much to begin with. Probably like 35, 40 bucks at what, like DSW or something. Um, I bought these at Goodwill for $8.99. This was kind of before I really cared about looking up sell-through rates and stuff. I was just grabbing anything and everything. So anyways, a year and a half, maybe two years later, I finally sold them for $23 with discount shipping. So I think I made about a $7 profit. Plus got my $9 back. So very happy to send those on their way. Those, we out of regional bees. In this box. Yeah, I've been using Posher VA this week to relist like a whole closet pretty much. I mean, you can only do so many per hour and whatnot, but mm -hmm. I've probably done two or three hundred in the last two days. So, yeah, um, I think that was a newly relisted item. So, yeah. I think it's working. Relisting was something I rarely do just because I've run out of time or don't think of it. But with Posher VA, it's literally you just click the button and it just goes. So, all right, we had two amazing sales in the last day. I'm trying to think if this was better or the other. Yeah, this is the second best sale <laughs> of the day. Um, Before you get too far in it, I do want to just caution anybody who does the, do that posture VA and also uses something like List Perfectly. Yeah. It does delink your your listing. So if you use List Perfectly to delist your sales, yeah, um, just you're gonna either have to update it or delist yourself, it yourself so i mostly do anyway so yeah i mean we we share a lot about list perfectly and we share a lot about posture va so i know a lot of you guys use both <laughs> so i just wanted to add that little caution in there if you're going to do the posture va listing or delisting and relisting it does delink your uh, list perfectly stuff so just wanted to add that in there yeah the way i was seeing it was like it saves so much time. Like I could relist on Posh myself, but it's one by one. Yeah. Where Posh VA, you can choose like I think it says like twenty an hour or something like right. that. So, and then it just does it. So for me to do twenty on my own, I could probably do it in ten to fifteen minutes. But that's still ten to fifteen minutes. So ten to fifteen minutes, I could list two items and make like yeah. if this was one of the items I listed. I'd make one hundred and sixteen dollars. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, just however you think of your business right. or your time, whatever you value the most. So, um, these are some Skechers Shape Ups. We just showed them in our recent haul. Uh, the Skech Ups. Yeah, right. the Skech Ups. <laughs> they were new with tag. I did say men sell better and they really sell better. So I was gonna list these at 79. I wasn't even gonna look up comps. I've sold some men's in the past for 50 to 60 and not new with tag. Now I'm regretting selling those because I probably could have got more on those too. Yeah. I looked up comps. And I saw this exact colorway, new a tag, sold for $150 plus shipping, and a couple others in that price range as well. So 
there wasn't a ton listed. I don't think there was any in this size that were new with tag and like this color. So I went with 150 plus shipping. I woke up to a watcher. I sent them an offer. Um, and then I got a message from somebody in Germany asking if, you know, I'd ship there. And I just said, you know, we only ship global shipping. Yeah. And so I'm not sure how it looks on the buyer's end, but I think it would just show them their full breakdown. I don't know. He was probably seeing if we would figure out like an international yeah. shipping. So it wasn't as much because global shipping yeah, is it, it's a lot very so. pricey for the, you know, the buyer. So, yeah. Um, but he did end up buying them and I, I don't know if he was the one that got the offer then because the price that he paid was not my offer price that I sent because I sent $129 plus shipping and the price that this buyer paid was $136.45. So I might have had a watcher and then also he was interested in them. So they, oh. were, they were getting a lot of interest yeah. just overnight. Um, but yeah, so I paid $15.99 for these at Goodwill and they sold for $136.45 overnight. Wow. Um, and I noticed he paid over $200 because of the global shipping. So right. to get them to Germany was a lot yeah so yeah um don't undervalue your shape ups i guess <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i mean i still would have been happy with 70 like if i didn't know that I could right more, right but yeah i'm very happy with that it was 116 dollars and 61 cent profit on those one pair of shoes so. yeah shape ups are one of those where you know you either love them or hate them as a reseller because you know you'll find some and the the heels will just be crumbly mess and that can even happen on new ones because of the age of them and we suspect that it's humidity yeah, and heat. climate that kind of affects it heat and humidity because we live in colorado and we rarely i don't even know if we've ever found a pair with crumbly heels found a crumbled, no. so i don't know if that's just because our goodwills toss them or whatever but yeah, i think i've seen one pair of dance goes like that but yeah like i don't really find shoes like that and a lot of people say dance goes do it all yeah the time, we so. asked a lot of our subscribers that live all around the world that, and they all said you know oh i live on the coastline or florida or mississippi one of these that high humidity you know heat and they're like yeah we always see crumbly ones you know joey bada bing lives in florida and he <laughs> hasn't he's never found a good pair of sketchups in his eyes <laughs> sketchups shape ups <laughs> shape ups I'm like are you doing it on purpose no, i'm not i'm really <laughs> i'm really not <laughs> But anyway, just check your heels if you do find shape ups and make sure they're not crumbly. Yeah, and that's a good practice for really any shoe yeah. at all. Dance goes, Sanitas, those kinds of clogs. Yeah, even some check them older as well. Nikes can get split and stuff like yeah. really any shoe. Um, this is that Brooks Brothers polo shirt that I purchased the other day for six fifty. Um, I did list it at fifty, but I've been doing best offer on my I'm trying best offer. So I did let, I, I'm trying best offer with an auto decline. So I don't have to actually see the offers come through. Yeah. If it's over what I, my minimum price is, it just auto accepts it. And if it's not, it just tells them it's declined, but I never even see the offers. So I don't like seeing offers like. Low ball, yeah. yeah. And this way, if somebody was gonna message me about taking a lower price, that way they could just push the button and see that I'm not gonna accept it or I am gonna accept it. So anyhow, because of that, Someone offered 25 and I must have put my auto decline at that, so it accepted it. Or auto accept right, right, at right. 25. So uh, 650 and a 25. Probably could have got more. I did have a couple watchers like right away. Um, but yeah, now I know Brooks Brothers is an okay brand to look out for mm -hmm. if I can find it fairly inexpensively. And that will just ship out in a uh, poly mailer. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. I think that's the only thing so far that someone's made an offer on. Everything else, I, it's not on everything yet. I've been doing my cell similars again, so I'm ending and relisting again. That with list perfectly messes up your, yeah, your numbers. But I've been doing it again just because, you know, we're coming into a new year and I have a lot of stuff that I would like to move that wasn't. I didn't check sell through rate on when I bought it, and I'd like to move it even if it's at lower prices. So yeah, and it it's actually been quite a while since we've done a thorough. Actually, I don't know if we've ever done a completely thorough. No, we kind of start to finish year, right so. like inventory yeah. so s start of the year we're going to go through together and get a good inventory of what we have because we've come across things that weren't listed in our box yeah. or in our spreadsheet that uh, we've sold already so that's counting against our cost you know goods and all that kind of stuff yeah so we're gonna take a while it's probably gonna take a while do you know 10 boxes a day a day together and find out exactly what we have and make sure it matches our spreadsheet so um, I highly suggest that anybody who's reselling does that at once least a once a year. Um, 
it's probably a good idea to just set it on a cycle. Like do, you know, if you have, what do we have, like 50 boxes or so, do four or five boxes a day. And then you're constantly cycling through. And by the end of the year, you've done inventory a couple times. So yeah, that's what we're going to be working on. <laughs> so I exciting. Say, as far as my best offers, I haven't been putting it on. I have on some, but on my newly listed items that I'm just listing for the first time. Yeah. If it's something that I think is going to sell within like 30 days, I'm not putting on best offer right now. Um, I'll send out best offers maybe if I get a watcher or something. But for the most part, I think I'm good at pricing things the right way. Yeah. So most of them sell quickly. If they don't after 30 days or so, then I'll add best offer in. Yeah. I'm more willing to accept a little bit lower. And I guess what, br what brings me up as to why we're doing the inventory is because we just got our top rated status back on oh, eBay. Yeah. I noticed my pad of flower was $8.99 right. again. Right. We just noticed that today. And I don't, I don't really think it was a glitch because we had four returns within a certain period that put us at like, what, a 2% defect rate. And the defect rate allowed is what, 0.5%? Right. But 49 is not 5%. <laughs> We're at 0.49 right now with two defects. We had four on the last check. But it was still telling us it was 0.49 on No, our... it said if there's a difference between the last time they checked and there's another box there that says if we checked you today, mm. it would be good. And so now it got checked today and it fixed or yesterday, I think. Okay. <laughs> so I don't think it was a glitch. Um, I do think it was our because we had those four re, uh not available like right we were out of stock yeah so we, I mean, we canceled just, it it's so weird because like those were over such a long period of i know time. like well, how often do they do it every three months i i because <laughs> i don't know <laughs> like i did cancel two like back to back and that was very bad but like the other two so yeah we canceled four in what the last like year pretty much five months. over the past yeah year so yeah a whole year like the 25 i know five like out of two thousand it's why it's very it's important to have your inventory yeah, of so. handle under control i don't know but even when i reached out to the ebay for business they were acting like something was weird but maybe they just are telling you what you want to hear i don't know that <laughs> makes me feel like they're just telling you what you want to hear and not yeah. Like, no, you actually did make them. Well, I think the one so. you talked to, that was a sale. Just That was our sale. It just came through. So I just want to let you guys know. But um, in your case, I think the person who was helping you on eBay for business did have something wrong. But I still think we were yeah. We were not above yeah. the needed requirement well, like we are today. We are again. So <laughs> it was mostly making me crazy. Like, if it's my fault, cool. I lost my yeah, credit yeah. But I was, like, going crazy, like, thinking, what did I right. do? Like, because she wasn't... As far as I can tell, we're only at 0.49, and we could be at 0.5, which is basically yeah. 0.5, but it shouldn't be. I think there's an unofficial <laughs> check, which is the, if we checked you today, it would yeah. be this. And then the official one, which happened yesterday. Okay. So <laughs> I think that's what happened, uh, and it is fixed now. So I, I just wanted to close that out because we brought it up yeah. a couple of videos ago, and we've had a couple questions about it. Um, so yeah, and a I lot think of people case, on Instagram had sent me, you know, they're yeah. still paying the 849 so I knew something was wrong somewhere. Yeah. But, yeah, that's why we're going to make sure our inventory is in check. Yes, um, yes. Yeah, the ones we canceled before were literally they just sold back to back, and I just right. didn't get them down in time, not that, like, I just forgot altogether, so... Even if our inventory is in check, I just got to every single day remember to get everything down. Yep. It needs to get down. Yep. It's, it's hard when you cross pose, but I think it's worth it. So. Yes. All right. Back to business again. <laughs> uh, these are some nice North Face like hiking pants. Picked these up at Goodwill for $7.99 and sold them on Posh for $40. I listed them at $50. Someone offered $40. I was happy to accept. Um, I might... Here's a Christmas. No, I might just use a tie bag. <laughs> just because. I don't know. I do like when priority stuff is in like a priority mailer. I feel like the post office then won't make a mistake. It'll or prioritize put it them. Accidentally in the first class bin and it take longer. Yeah, yeah. All right. This was the sale of the day. Better than the SketchUp's? Yes. I did it on purpose that time. <laughs> I don't want to take it out, but I want to take it out. I'll just keep it. Oh, me. yeah. It's the Dale of, Dale Norway, of Norway sweater. It's so nice. Like, it feels so nice. Like, <laughs> even if I didn't know this brand, I would have felt the sweater and been like, man, that's a good sweater. <laughs> so, yeah, that I picked up for $10 at a local thrift. Sold on Facebook for $149 plus wow. shipping. Um, so the profit on that, because Facebook only takes 5% fee, I made $129.74 profit on that. So... Yeah, my goal is $200 net profit per day. Um, so just that and the shape ups today were 
200 like 40 dollars or something 30 something yeah but yeah but my whole month so far although that sale that just came in will put me over but i'm i was like four dollars under my <laughs> my 200 dollars a day goal for december yeah. so far so even when you have the really big sales all the other sales still matter and everything too so that's why i don't just search Scope out, out for hundred dollar yeah. items i mean I found two of those in the last like month, you know what I mean? Right. I, I look for them, but I don't always find them, so. And if that's all I listed, I definitely would not be making the same amount. Yeah, it'd be a really good side gig if, if that's all yeah, you can do, sure. if you don't have enough space or. I'm thinking of Thrifty Yeti. He basically does $100 flips every day and he does find stuff every day and I'm, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> if you could find it and you can keep yeah. up with it, do it yep. for sure. We would be doing it if we could. For sure. <laughs> um, but you know, we, we kind of have to survive yeah. on that bread and butter and every once in a while we get that filet mignon, yeah. you know? <laughs> so. And to me, like if I found it, I still would list 10 to 15 items a day. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't think I would ever find ten hundred dollar plus profit items a day it could happen it could it'd be a good video <laughs> <For> sure. <laughs> um so these irish setter boots they're gore-tex um they're a little beat up so i had them listed at 59 on facebook but someone asked if i would do 40 so i said yes um i did pay 14.99 for them so just over 20 dollar profit there which that's great um those are going ups so i'll probably do just like one of our ebay boxes there brown box yeah let's see what's sold so the thing that sold is some Cabela's duck boots. Let me just pull those up really fast. Let me try to zoom in here. So Cabela's. Kill them. Oh, I must not be an active only, but so there they are. Dee Dee. Cabela's. Short duck boots. Um, what can I pay for these? $9.99 and they sold for $40.95 plus shipping. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah. so $9.99 and a $45 plus ship? Yeah, $40.90. Oh, $40.90. So okay. like 41 bucks. And they weigh three and a half pounds. The person does live in West Virginia, so I only charge $12.99 for shipping. Let's see if I do a and I don't want to zoom in close because it does have personal I info guess. there. Um, yeah, but so this far. is, you know, one of the biggest questions we always get is how do you ship for eBay? And, you know, Kathy just has, we do a lot of shoes. So she just figures, you know, and memorizes how much shoes are going to cost to ship, you know, on an average basis around the country. So in the world? <laughs> I'm trying to type pirate ship and apparently I type pirate <laughs> definition. All right. Um, so if I went with USPS, Four pound rate to West Virginia is going to be fifteen oh nine. I charge the buyer twelve ninety nine, so eating two dollars and yeah. some change on a forty dollars sale that's not a big deal. So that would be fine, but I always when it I'm already going to UPS today for a few other things, so I'm going to check that really fast and make sure if it's like the same amount of days, I would do that two six one four nine. Is the zip code two six one four nine. Four pounds. So 1441. So let's see. So fifteen oh nine or fourteen forty one. To me that's not like a 50 much cent of a difference, difference right? right? But then we have to get our own box. Yeah. Whereas if I do just USPS, I can use a shoe box which was free. Um, yeah. and like these eBay boxes, even though we get them for free, we usually just over our coupon and if you break it down, it still comes out to like twenty cents each or yeah. Plus, we run out of those quickly, and these are free all the time. So, if it was two or three dollar savings, yeah. we'd do that in a heartbeat. Sure. <laughs> but um, unless you know, unless we weren't already going to UPS or FedEx or whatever, um, we do have all three locations fairly close to us and accessible, yeah. so it's not that big of a deal. But you know, it's still pretty hard to convince yourself to go to one place for one package to save a dollar. You know. Yeah. So I'm just going with the UPS here. So yeah, I'm paying out of pocket like $2.10, no big deal. So yeah, cool. I know that you, that it was hard to see exactly what was going on there, <laughs> but that's kind of the, Kathy's yeah. process. And we do want to do a, a good, try to do a good thorough video on shipping for like each of the platforms you know like po obviously Poshmark's the easiest. If shipping is your biggest hangup and getting in reselling, 
start on Poshmark. Poshmark has one fee up to what, five pounds or 10 pounds? Yeah, so as long as you're selling stuff under five pounds, it's super easy. Yeah, keep it under five pounds, keep tricky. it under a certain size. Yeah, and it gets tricky if it's too big or too, like if somebody starts bundling a bunch of stuff, yeah. it gets over five pounds. Over five pounds, you're starting to pay about four fifty a pound on top of yeah. the, the label that they've already paid for, and that would come out of your earnings. So just be careful with that. But yeah. yeah, I've only maybe five times ever had to upgrade my label on Posh. So. Yeah. So start with Posh and then grow from there. I mean, Posh is a great platform to start on, yeah. um, especially if you're doing something like shoes or... Definitely shoes. That's my favorite place yeah. to sell shoes. Cause For sure. Obviously, these cost me $15 to ship. On Posh, the buyer would have just paid 7 seven fifty or whatever. seven eighty, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. They keep changing it. So yeah. I can't keep up, but... But you don't even have to worry about it because yeah. it's... It, Come straight to your You can put box. it in any of these white boxes yep. and you can... It. You or get the label, you print it out, stick all. it on, boom. <laughs> Yep. So, all right, guys, we're going to get this stuff all packed up. I think Reese is just going to keep napping. Are you alive, Reese? Reese. Hey. He is, like, out cold. Awake? Hey, baby. <sighs> You're alive. Okay. You I think I need to get him some Motrin or something. He's a good boy. He's so sweet. <laughs> he just wanted an adventure. <laughs> yeah, he does that a couple times a year. <laughs> but uh, we'll get this stuff packed up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Look, Reese is alive. Walking around, <laughs> checking out the window. You feeling okay, buddy? <laughs> Got everything all packed up. Kathy was just finishing up the bookkeeping on that last sale that came in. And yeah, it is time for us to go to the post office. Yeah, they close in eight minutes. <laughs> Luckily, they're three minutes away, but. Yeah. So we're going to get this stuff off to the post office and that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of our amazing viewer support. You guys really do help this channel. Anyway, that's going to do it and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.